In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get access and use the Zapier interfaces. It's currently in beta version, but it basically allows you to build forms, web pages, and basic apps to power your business critical workflows with no coding required. You are going to be able to create chatbot, and then you can also create a landing page where this chatbot is going to be located and you can share the link with anyone. Also, I'm going to show you how you can create the chatbot and place it directly on your website. All right, let's get started. So the first thing is that you have to go to zapier.com slash interfaces. I'm gonna link it down below. So as I have said, it's currently in beta version. So they're currently changing a lot of stuff and adding new features. Also, please keep in mind that this is currently for free because they are currently gathering feedback and letting people to use it but perhaps we can expect Zapier interfaces to be a paid feature in the future. But what you want to do is to click on try for free. You are going to be asked for confirmation of your email and you also have to have an account with Zapier. But I already have this, so I'm immediately redirected to interfaces.zapier.com slash interfaces. Here is where you can actually create landing pages, forms and chatbots. We are going to click on the create button here and here you see all the options that are currently available to you. We have form, lead capture, free offer, new client intake, simple CRM, business coach bot, zap chat, explain bot, and much more. You also have this menu here, so you can go, for example, inside bots and then see which templates are available to you. We are going to click on start from scratch and here is where you can actually build your landing page. Here in this example, I'm going to choose and click on chatbot, which allows us to create our own AI powered chatbot. I'm going to add this one and then you get this notification here at experimental component. This is an experimental feature and could change at any time. Do you want to add this component to the page? You can click yes and continue. And just like that, you actually have built your first chatbot immediately within seconds, but there are different settings that you can change. So the first thing in the content section is that you can name your chatbot. So in this example, I just named it a uh, helpful chatbot. You can have a static or generated greeting. So um, you can write here anything that you want to appear directly here. This is also the message that your users are going to firstly see when they open or interact with the chatbot. Then you have your prompt placeholder. Here in this case, it says, ask me anything. And it's basically this text, which is displayed over here. Here you can actually customize your chatbot. So you can give it a different tone, different style. You can play with uh, accents and much more. So in this case, we are going to leave it like it is. You are an AI chatbot you are a helpful assistant. You can choose GPT 3.5 currently only, but they write that you can upgrade to use other models available to you in OpenAI. Then we have creativity, so you can play with this setting as well. We have display disclosure message in greeting. If we are going to take this on, you can see that it changes inside our chatbot and it says, this is an automated chatbot response, learn more. You can also change the disclosure message down here if you turned it on. And then you also can change the link that redirects the user to another page. We are going to turn that off for this case. And then you are able to play with the width. So you can go with narrow. You can then go into medium or white. In this case, we are going to choose medium and alignment. We are going to choose center. So that's all the uh, settings here. You then have the data settings here. This is currently not available and it's uh, only coming soon, but you are going to be able to connect the data source here and it's going to answer questions and display responses that are unique to your business. We then have actions. So here you can also add different actions, trigger actions from chatbot responses, set up automations and trigger available actions directly in chat. You can click on add action and here you can customize your action if you're interested in that. All right, so that's our chatbot here. Um, we can also click on settings up here and then we are going to be redirected to change the settings of our landing page. So here you can see we have a name and subdomain. So this is basically the subdomain that is um, going to allow you to visit your chatbot. If we go back to our page builder, you can see that we have the link here. And if we click on it, you are going to see that the chatbot is going to appear and it's going to be placed on this URL. So this is basically where you can edit it. So for the sake of this video, let's call it pop-ups land because I'm going to place it on my website called pop-ups land. 
Then we have the subdomain. So here you can play with the subdomain. Um, I'm going to name it popupsland. And then you can see we have a very nice looking uh, URL here, popupsland.zapier.app. Here we have a home page, which is our home page that we are currently building. And we are going to save changes. You then can play with other settings, but as you can see, many of those you have to upgrade. So right now I'm going to take this chatbot and instead of me redirecting them to this page, popupsland.zapier.app slash page, I'm going to take this chatbot and embed it on my website. So let me show you how you can do that. You can go to share and see that you have your URL link here, but we go to embed and here we are going to choose our page, which is the name of the page that we are working on. We are going to leave the same settings here. We are going to include page background and here we are going to copy this code, right? So right now I am at my website and for the sake of this video, let's go to my contact us page. And here I have a form, but let's say that I would like to embed the chatbot here so people can interact with it. I'm going to go and edit with Elementor because that is the builder I'm using for my website. Here you can see that I am able to edit my page. This is going to look differently for anyone. It depends on which builder you are using, but the point is the same. You want to create a new blog. I'm going to create a totally fresh new blog here. And then I'm going to search for HTML code. I'm going to place it inside. And here is where I can paste the code that I copied from Zapier. And as you can see, it automatically shows the chatbot on my website. I can also play with the width and height of the chatbot here. I'm going to make this 1800. That looks all right. I'm going to update this page. And right now, if we go back to this page, we should be able to see this chatbot live on our website. All right, so I'm just going to my website once again. I'm going to go to my contact us page. And right now, if I'm going to scroll down, I should be able to see the chatbot. And yeah, I can see it. So right now I can also just type here and ask any question. For example, here I'm going to ask what are the benefits of using a pop-ups builder on your website. I'm going to send this. And then we can see that helpful chatbot is the name of our chatbot that we chose in the settings before. And then I get the answer. So here I can see that using pop-ups builder on your website can have several benefits, including, and then it lists the benefits. You can customize this in different ways. So for example, you can create a chatbot that is going to be specifically helping people, or you can have a customer service chatbot and much more. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, or if you learned anything new, please give this video a thumbs up. If you are interested in AI and tech, definitely subscribe down below. I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.